Hey, what's going on, guys? Mr. Mom, excited on a Wednesday, people. Fire it up today. Got some news for you. Obviously, got a huge box of plants in, so, you know, rest assured, the store is going to be full, of course. I'm going to be able to do a little bit of escaping here soon, which gets me pure giddy, obviously. Um, I do want to talk about a couple things, though, real fast, guys, while I open this box here. Let me try and get a different shot. I actually put you guys on the tripod this morning, which is also something a little different for me i'm usually mr shaky camera but today i got the tripod action rocket and i don't normally do the unboxings on video because they just you know a lot of people do unboxings and i don't know it's an unboxing video how how interesting can that be um but i do want to say that you know I like to keep a lot of plants in the store, guys, and sometimes it's difficult. You know, some plants I get, they don't always do the best in shipping and stuff when I get them for my supplier and stuff. So there's some plants that, you know, I'm, I'm kind of starting to be hesitant to carry just because when I get them, they look like poop. Lots of times when I send them out, you know, even if I try and care for them and kind of nurse them back to health for a couple of weeks, um, they look like poop when I send them out and people generally just kind of get down on them. So don't want people to be down obviously um, but what I do want to do is keep the store full with a bunch of good plants all the time guys so I'm mean, gonna continue to try and do that just certain things that I may or may not have seasonally you know like sawtooth high grow let's just go ahead and throw that under the bus sawtooth high grow hasn't been doing good lately guys like the past three or four times I've gotten that stuff in it's just done garbage I've had to throw a bunch of it out um, and it's just shipping it's a delicate plant and you know it is what it is so probably won't have that in but with that being said the good news is, is I do have a line on a bunch of new plants that I'm going to be carrying that I haven't carried before um, you know stuff like I'm, I'm, I'm going to be getting like some high grow pinnatophyta um, I'm going to be getting some red root floaters I'm going to be getting some SP Ludwigia which I believe is a dark red narrow leaf um, so I'll be having all that in the store here pretty soon and obviously filled up the store today too. This is Amania gracilis. It's looking fairly money. Uh, let's see. This looks like Cuba. Ludwigia Cuba. And it, this actually looks pretty good. I mean, of course, this stuff is immersed, guys. I mean, we all know how that is. Immersed growth, but... There's a difference between poor immersed and good immersed. This is all good quality stuff, and it's going to change pretty quick. I mean, the tops of it change usually before I can even get a chance to ship it out. So, oh, yeah, they're nice and cool. Again, plants like cool temperatures, guys. As long as they don't freeze, they're going to be fine. You know, you don't want them to freeze, obviously. So if you're buying plants, again, for me or from anybody out there, um, not just me, make sure you call your post office, guys, if it's cold where you're at and uh, protect your plants, protect your investment, because most places don't guarantee frozen plants. You know, that's just the way it is, so um, me included. So there's the disclaimer on that. Uh, Ludwigia parensis, I don't know why they sent me this. I didn't order it, because this is another one of those plants that doesn't always do as well. But actually, this batch looks like it's already a lot of submerged growth and nice and red and got roots all over so guys i think it's a good time to get some ludwigia parensis actually so get in and get some parensis if you've been looking for that um ah, some red wendettis you know eight or ten red wendettis there's smaller ones i keep them cheap guys i get the smaller ones so i can keep them cheap i can get massive ones too but they would be more expensive you know and they just you know People don't want those as much. Cardamine Lorata, good stuff, guys. This is not SP Japan, by the way. I think I mentioned that it was SP Japan in another video. It's not. It grows very similar to SP Japan, and I'm going to grow some out in my new scape, some of this cardamine, show you guys how money it is. It's money, guys. Trust me. Trust me when I tell you it's money. Um, <laughs> dwarf baby tears, guys. Lots of people looking for them, because I think I'm about the best guy in the world to get dwarf baby tears from so and i say that with all the uh um humbleness that i can muster so yeah i got a bunch of dwarf baby tears so come and get those while they last guys they go pretty fast and you guys know that um blixa japonica this is one of the plants that it's a delicate plant guys it's a delicate plant um if you order blixa japonica make sure you call your post office make sure you're ready for it guys um you know 
it's Blix japonica. Once you get it in your tank and you get it in good settings and everything, it's going to grow. But make sure you know what you're getting into, guys. I carry it when I can. I got a bunch of it. If you want some, you know where to come, guys. Blix japonica. Looking money. Rotala indica. Look at the flowers on this thing. I get I, I ship out Rotala Indica and I always get people like, oh, it's Bacopa, it's Money War, which is a common thing. I, I thought that at first too. But this is Rotala Indica. Um, it is not Money War. It's just immersed growth Rotala Indica. And it changes pretty quick. So bunch of Rotala Indica. I'm personally using some of this. Personally. This guy. There it is, the Ovalis. But the way the Ovalis looks pure money too right now, guys. So, I mean, it's all smashed together and stuff, but I'm going to get it out. I'm going to get it rocking in some CO2, some nutrient base. It's going to be money. Sorry for the long video, guys. It's running longer than my normal videos. Corkscrew valve, a bunch of corkscrew valve, and some more Ricci moss. I still have a bunch of Ricci moss, too, guys. So, Ricci moss, Ricci moss. It's the time for Ricci moss. Dwarf sag in here. I always have dwarf sag. It's like 50 pieces, guys. It's a lot of door sag. And then some more tiger snails. These are pretty small, but these I can ship out. You know, you can see how I get them. They ship real easily, guys. They ship pure easy. So tiger snails, great algae eaters. That's it, guys. Long video. Sorry about that. Full unboxing of the plants. I got a lot of work to do for you guys. Um, thanks for checking it out. You know where to get plants. J Flesh Tanks, Mr. Mom Tanks. Peace.